This is what we call an old school monster truck. My tractor unit had a problem with it last night. Hello, we're on our way off to Truckfest, um, Nutsford, Cheshire. Uh, Tony's in front, as you can see. And normally um, I've got the swampy shop on the back. So we'll be selling all the toys meeting all the fans. Um, when we're travelling um, around and we're taking the swampy shop with us, um, we communicate to each other with a, uh, a walkie-talkie. So what we do is we'll call Tony up to see what he's up to in the swampy vehicle. Hello! Woo! Are you there? Okay, so we're on our way to Truck Best Northwest. Now, this is how we go to the show. So I'm in the lorry in the front and I'm on the walkie-talkie. Claire and Georgina are following behind with the van. And we're just coming up to Tewkesbury. Um, so yes, we've got quite a way to go. We've got probably another 110 miles to go before we get there. Awesome. Thank you very much in the front. Um, yeah, so this is what we do. We travel in combo, so it's quite good. We overtake lots of lorries along the way. Um, and yeah, we sometimes see fans when we're travelling around and they give us a wave and we'll give them a toot toot back. Yeah, um, the lovely lovely driver I've just overtaken, he gave me a nice flash to say to me that I'm clear and there's enough room for me to jump in. When we're driving along it's, it's quite annoying when car drivers, the lorry drivers like to leave a nice big gap in between stuff and quite often we, we use that as our braking distance and then quite often cars jump in that gap. So it, if you're driving along and you're, you're missing your junction, please don't jump in the gap. Lorries take a lot longer to stop than a car. But today we're transporting a special guest. Everyone meet Kirby! Kirby's on the back seat. Yeah. Travelling with us. It's my Christmas present from last year. We've got our tunes playing. Obviously not at the moment. Because of copyright. Copy. But they will be playing. Oh, we've got, we've he's got, interrupting us. <laughs> he is. He's interrupting. Hey, you're interrupting us. We're having a talk at the minute. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Get well, off. Get off the comms. Get in these ruts because there's some big, really big ruts on this pitch. Hello. 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 Hello.
well it's day one the recovery people have just done their first display we've done our first show already swamp thing had a quite a hard landing on one of the jumps we got a big volvo and the volvo hasn't squashed as how i'd like it it's quite windy so i'm having to speak quite loud also we got the pa on i have to do this a little bit when they're not playing any music if they start playing music we start getting in trouble but we got a really good wheelie in the first show. Loads of people are here, come from that spot. Um, I had one problem last night, I didn't video it because it was so painful. So my tractor unit had a problem with it last night. You're joking, not another one? It blew an airline off the gearbox, what does the gear selecting? And I went to have a look at it and I slipped over and I burnt my hand, the one I'm holding the phone with. I'm not gonna show you on the camera, it isn't very pretty. But yeah, so um, yeah, it's quite a bit of pain today, but the show must go on. So here we are with the Slingshot ride trucks. Now they've got the race truck, they've got the original Slingshot truck, and then they've got their new Slingshot, the ride truck. Let's take you through the differences. This is what we call an old school monster truck. So it's got a steel body, steel chassis, and more, most importantly, the steel Lee Springs. This is very, very original, old school monster trucks when they first came back in the 1970s stroke 80s. This is how they all started. So they all started with 
the big military axles, but these ones have been changed to see these are a JCB type axle. And it's still got lots of shock absorbers on it, but more importantly, it's still got the steel body on it and it's left-hand drive. Compare that to the new race trucks, they're all fiberglass, they're on a space frame chassis. So they take, you get all, rid of all the weight here. Um, the suspension's a lot more, so this has probably only got about six inches of suspension on it, and it gives a really bumpy ride. But back in the day, you would see the drivers driving it with just a lap belt on, and they'd be looking out the window to try and see where they are. So then, this one is a bit of a hybrid between the two so it's a bit old school monster truck and new school monster truck so let's take you through the difference between this one so you can see on this one it's still got a steel body and it's still got the original dashboard and everything in this truck and then when you come down it's still got the original truck chassis so that, that on this truck that is more like a, a ladder chassis and um, that's not got the original bit in, but this one's, so it's got the original chassis and then it's been braced up underneath, but then it's got the new style shock absorbers on it. And then actually the silver ones used to be mine. So yeah, this has got 28, 26 inches of travel compared to eight. And also this one has got the original military axles. So these are five ton military axles, but they have been braced up. So if you can see there on the kingpins, they tie the kingpins in at the bottom. It's got really, really big brakes on it. It's actually even still got ABS on this. So on the front of this truck, there's the ABS sensor. But they've been having a fabulous day today. Because they've been running all day with two trucks. So make sure you check them out slingshot monster truck rides if you want the ride of your life these are the people to see set up for day two yeah so gonna, i think it's going to be quite sunny today it's quite warm today yeah so i'm going to take this off in a minute so but yeah normally we have the truck and trailer um near where the shop is for the minute you can probably see it, it's all the way out it's actually in the public car park they run out of space um, here for the show so we've got to park it out there and we bring the monster truck in before the show is actually open so the show is not open yet um, but we're, we're waiting for all the people to come in to see the monster truck in action for day two. Okay, so what's your name, buddy? What's your question, Max? Uh, How fast can a monster truck go? So my monster truck is geared for 85 miles an hour. Um, it hasn't got a speedo in it, so you might be wondering, that how do I know it goes 85 miles an hour? But it was quite simple. I took the sat man out of my normal car put it into the windscreen and drove it around the field. But monster trucks don't really go that fast very often. Monster trucks are designed to accelerate really fast, so we can do 0 to 60 in four seconds. So it's as fast as a Porsche, but it weighs as much as a truck. Is that a good answer to you, buddy? Hi, five. That's awesome. Um, what's your name, buddy? Daniel. What's your question, Daniel? How much was it? How much is it? Sir? Monster trucks, you can't go down to your local Ford dealership and go and buy a monster truck. They don't sell them. Um, so they're actually a made vehicle. So um, all of them are slightly different. The two monster trucks you've got here today are quite similar. If you have to build a monster truck to that spec, it's about a quarter of a million pounds. But it doesn't just stop there because they're not road legal, so you can't drive them on the road. So we have to have a custom lorry to put them in. And at the end of the show today, we have to take the big wheels off. We put some small skinny ones off and then we drive the monster trucks in the back of the lorries and then we have to load all the tyres in and then all the spares that go with it. 
So if you wanted to start with a monster truck, you're going to need like half a million pounds. That's a lot of pocket money, isn't it? Yeah. But do, do you fancy being a monster truck driver when you're older? Yeah, you do. Do you? That's if you're rich, rich, if you're rich. Okay, give us a high five. Thank you, thank you. I think we need some independent adjudicators. You want some independent adjudicators? Why? You say no cheat? I don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. okay, right. Have you noticed Claire standing behind Alan? And then she's going, she's going with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> right, then, face that way, you. Face that way. Right, are you ready? Here we go, then. We're going to count them down. In three, two, one, go! Oh! Alan so wins! Alan's got a rock, you've got scissors. Alright, it's best of three. Yeah. Alright, so, at the moment, it's 1 0 to Alan. Here we go, then. Round two. Three, two, one, go! Oh! oh Toby one. scissors, Alan paper, so, it's 1 all. It all comes down to this. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. Help me count. In three, two, one, go! Oh! Win. Tony wins with paper. I'm going to go second. Rock. And that's the end of our monster truck show. It's not. It's not. No, Are you no. going to go first or second? I'm going to go second. You're going to go why? Um, Because I want to see what Alan does. <laughs> that is cheating. That is really cheating. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, this is just take a couple of minutes. For them to get into the monster trucks, they'll get their suits on fully. Just about to go and do the last show, but Alan still needs a little bit more energy. Look at what he's got down there. I think you need to put what's this called? A kidney bell. Okay, no, it's a girdle. It's a girdle. Alan's got to put his girdle on before the show. <laughs> Hold everything in. <laughs>
that's it. We're all packed away for this show. Georgina's just getting her Kirby out. Kirby has to ride in the back of the van. And so uh, Claire and Georgina are going to ride back all the way home. I'm going to be in my own in the Scania. Um, yeah, so that was a great, great show. Thank you for all coming to Truckfest here at the Cheshire Showground for Truckfest Northwest. Uh, next stop for us is the last one of the series, Truckfest Original at Newark. Hope to see you there. Until next time, bye bye. Just to know what